So today I got a text from White Iverson saying I need a thumbnail and I thought this is the perfect opportunity. Right as I was about to make the thumbnail for White Iverson, I thought I have to get into the mind of White Iverson. So before I even opened up Photoshop, I put on my jersey and I went and hooped and got some buckets. Okay, so first and foremost, he is a certain client doesn't really take pictures for his thumbnails. He is somebody who usually just gets me the video file and I go and take screenshots of good things that are happening and I make the thumbnail based off that. I will say within the basketball community, the thumbnail style that is desired is very unorthodox in comparison to the rest of the YouTube game and it's kind of funny. So as you can see right here, I'm currently working on getting the screenshots. I usually try and get a definite one or two really good, clear, clean shots of whoever's channel it is so people who are going to see the thumbnail know who it is because most of these guys have big names. Then after that, I try to take one or maybe even two more screenshots of maybe a hard foul or maybe a crazy cross, a lot of things to try and really reel the viewers in. Luckily, Wide Iverson is a really fun player. He reminds me a lot of like Heze. He dribbles a lot, but he just likes having fun. He makes me want to get up and go play basketball. So these screenshots are usually fairly easy. So let's knock out getting these screen grabs and I'll be back. All right, so about 15 minutes later, we do have the screenshots now picked out. I will be throwing up a screen recording of me actually making a thumbnail and voicing over that so you guys can get the point further. But honestly, when it comes to these basketball community thumbnails, they're usually not too, too complicated. Honestly, the main thing is making sure that you get the most aggressive or spicy or cool or just overall the best moments in a good, decently still screenshot and using that to your advantage. Unlike other thumbnails, usually people are taking pictures and they want things to be manipulated and you know, you have to go in and color correct and brighten up things and stuff like that. When it comes to basketball thumbnails, you kind of have to do that, but not to the fullest extent. It's more so about what is the coolest thing and making that pop to the viewer. So this is one of the thumbnails where you're not gonna really get a really good still image, so you kinda have to work with what you get. And honestly, I feel like with what I had going on in this video, I actually made a pretty solid thumbnail regardless of the CTR. Now I will say, honestly, the CTR in this video did not do too, too well. So later on in the video, I do some research and I make sure I understand what people might want to see and you'll have to see the results then. But honestly, overall, I did not think this thumbnail was that bad. However, it is YouTube and you never know. It could be a week out and then this video finally starts popping off and the CTR turns around. We'll have to see. Okay, it is currently 9.37. Wide Iverson texted me again. It is Sunday night, needing another thumbnail. So we got another thumbnail knockout for this week, and this one has Friga and Hezzy in it. So let's see what we can get into, and let's try to get a better CTR rate than his last video. With this thumbnail, it is a park takeover with D Friga and also Hezzy God. Unfortunately, we could not get a still picture of Hezzy, so I could only clickbait Friga and White Iverson, which was dope anyway. And I will say, sharing the results a full 24 hours after this video's been posted, it's also done double the views of the last thumbnail that I did earlier in the video, which means the research that I did do so far so good. So he was happy with it, and this is how it turned out. If you're still here, that means you have enjoyed the video, so make sure you subscribe to the channel. I will be doing more behind the scenes of how thumbnails and how, you know, the back end of YouTube game works because I've worked for a lot of basketball YouTube content creators like Jay Law, Devin Williams, Austin Mills, Caleb Feemster, Josh Horton, and the list goes on and on. So hopefully I'll see you soon and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Feel alive, let's hit the dance floor. Don't work too hard, my break a backbone. Return of the Mac, the king is back though. Corvette and cash, I never.